another what I eat in a day to uh, gain vegan muscle and lose that unfortunate vegan fat. Um. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alyssa, and my channel, Plants and Recreation, is all about how I am getting healthy and fit on a plant-based diet. I have made a commitment for 100 days to make a video and share with you guys everything I'm eating, how I track it in my fitness pal, and my macros that I eat according to the IIFYM, if it fits your macros, method of eating. And if you haven't seen my videos before, or maybe you have watched a few of them, I would be so thankful if you would consider hitting that red subscribe button below and subscribing to my channel so you can follow along every day for the 100 days. And today is day 31 of that 100 day commitment. So today I thought I'd show you what I eat in a full day of eating. So for breakfast I am having oatmeal. And my oatmeal is made with soy milk. It is regular oats made on the stove top with soy milk. I put a little bit of protein powder in there. Um, about a third of a scoop. When I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. And it's got frozen mixed berries on top, peanut butter powder, and a tablespoon of flaxseed ground. And some cinnamon. And some vanilla. Because I put cinnamon and vanilla in everything, which you probably know by now if you've been watching my videos. So this is going to be my breakfast today. And I'll show you the macros for this bowl of oatmeal. And then I will be back to show you guys what I am eating today for lunch. Okay guys, my lunch today is something a little bit different. I haven't actually showed this to you before, but it is one of my favorite lunches. And it is a giant kale salad. Now, this bowl, when I started with the kale salad, was piled super overflowing. I'll show you a picture. But for the dressing, I chopped up a tomato and about half an avocado and some apple cider vinegar and some salt and I massaged that all into the kale. And that softens the kale and it wilts it and it creates a dressing all at the same time. And this is what I was left with from that giant overflowing bowl. And then on top, I put lentils, about half a cup of lentils and some scallions and some nutritional yeast, and it is super delicious. Now, this lunch is actually going with me. I'm not ready to eat just yet, and I have to be out of the house, and I'll be out of the house probably till like four o'clock. So, I'm taking my handy dandy cover and taking this lunch with me to go. So, let me show you the macros for this delicious kale salad that I'll be having for lunch today. And I will be back later this afternoon, evening, to show you what I'm having for dinner. Okay guys, I am back home and it is time for dinner. So for dinner tonight, I am... So, with daylight savings and all, the light has changed. I'm gonna have to find a new place to sit in the house, so bear with me with this weird lighting situation going on. But for dinner tonight, I'm having my favorite green bowl and I put it in this nice clear bowl so you can actually see all of it. It is the famous frozen spinach, frozen mixed leafy greens, which is kale, collard greens, and mustard greens, broccoli, frozen peas, edamame, topped with tahini and sriracha. So here are the macros for this meal. And I'll be back with my last meal of the day and my dessert in just a few minutes. That's visible. There's a problem with spreading sriracha on everything is that sometimes it gets on everything. Like me. That is sriracha on my favorite white shirt. That is my dinner. On my favorite white shirt. Anyway, I'm back for dessert. <laughs> I bet you think you know what I'm having. You'd be partially right. I'm having banana ice cream, but I am not having vanilla. I am having chocolate peanut butter. So this is banana ice cream made with, of course, bananas and frozen zucchini, because that's how I make my banana ice cream, but chocolate protein powder, peanut butter powder, cinnamon, topped with more peanut butter powder, cacao nibs, and unsweetened shredded coconut. I'm indulging. 
It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to eat it. So let me show you the macros for this real quick. And let me show you the macros for my entire day. My total calories, my protein, fat, and carbs, the goal as uh, what I actually ate, the micronutrients, and the pie chart showing the percentages of protein, fat, and carbs, and where it all fell in my total day of eating. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my protein was I think over, my carbs were just on and my fat was over, but somehow I have 61 calories left over. I don't know how that happens. I'm just gonna chuck it up to a weird MyFitnessPal thing. But as long as I know I hit the macros, I'm not so concerned about the calories. So we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another what I eat in a day to uh, gain vegan muscle and lose that unfortunate vegan fat. Um, I hope to see you in tomorrow's video and I hope that you have a great day or night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.